In today's video, we talk about the American Silver Eagle. And my local coin shop owner gets a little frustrated. See what I mean? It kind of frustrates me because people... Hey, what happened to the American Silver Eagle? Let's talk about it. Hello, Silver fans. This is T, and you're in the place to be for Silver Education, Acquisition, and Entertainment. Hey, the American Silver Eagle, the old standby. I remember back in the day, it used to be walking into a coin shop, and your choices were kind of like, hey, buy a silver round for, oh, a dollar over spot or 75 cents over spot or something like that or pay up another dollar or so and get yourself an american silver eagle or a government issued bullion you couldn't go wrong with an ase and boy a lot has changed over the years at a certain point the ase went from just being a bullion coin that you fill tubes with to something that's a little more special and collectible and people even started slabbing them and then uh, look at this i even put these in this tube here within the capsules and you're preserving them like they're something really special and i guess they have become something special because you can't buy them at a couple bucks over spot anymore hey that's for sure and today i'll be talking with my local coin shop owner rich from the gold depot here in crown point indiana he is going to answer questions a very popular question that I keep receiving over and over and over about American Silver Eagles. Some folks in the comments and various videos when ASCs are being brought up think that your mom and pop local coin shop owner is the one making all the big bucks on these high premiums with American Silver Eagles. So I brought it up with Rich and here is his answer. Sit back and enjoy. Um, Neophyte Stacker, T-Bones Tech, uh, both uh, have similar questions about American Silver Eagles. Uh, and when we started making these videos a while back, ASCs were kind of like the standby. You want, you know, your uh, sovereign bullion, you're willing to pay $1.50 or $2 over uh, what you would pay for a generic. ASCs were the no-brainer. You know, that's not the case anymore. They're asking about uh, the, like the supply chain uh, and ASCs and wholesalers and how that whole process works. And then throughout the process, how that price keeps rising to the point where the consumer gets it and it's 38, 39, $40 for an ASC. Because so, so the US Mints, you know, they're, they're just like everybody else having trouble getting the silver mm -hmm. you know so for them to get the blanks and whatnot the mint like the mint's not even operating right now as far as the eagles go which mm -hmm. is driving up the price because if you want eagles basically you got to buy back dates mm -hmm. and the back dates you know now the premiums are higher mm -hmm. but like when we ordered the uh, 2022 boxes i mean our premiums were still 10 12 bucks over mm -hmm. uh and and direct from the wholesaler you know it's just the premiums are high. Some people have this notion that uh, you're selling uh, ASEs for $39 and spot is at $23 and somehow you're making all that difference in between. So, so. And not just yeah, you. It, it kind of frustrates me because people look at spot like it's something that has to do with physical silver and it doesn't. Yeah. Like if you want a physical precious metal, it doesn't matter what spot is. Mm -hmm. You know, there's always going to be a premium to have that tangible asset in your hand that the government and nobody else knows about. Mm -hmm. If you want close to spot or you want spot, that's paper shares. Mm -hmm. Go online, buy yourself some silver shares at $21, $22 a, uh, a share mm -hmm. and call it a day. You know, play it long, play it short, mm -hmm. you know. But if you want that tangible asset in your hand, mm -hmm. there's a premium. There's always been a premium. Yeah. It doesn't matter if silver was at $8 an ounce, $3 an ounce, you never paid spot price. Right. Unfortunately, the premiums are higher now because people are holding their silver because they see the investment. Mm -hmm. Nobody's really selling much. Mm -hmm. 
drives up the price. Yeah. Mint's shutting down, mint's running out of silver, the refining, the, the you know, all the way down to the mining of it, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, I think where people get thrown off is that, say, I pick a number. Say when spot price was at $20, they could buy an American Silver Eagle at $22.50. Mm -hmm. And they're having a hard time wrapping their mind around that there has been a total separation between you know spot price and physical silver price. Because when when you can order a monster box of eagles for you know a dollar fifty over and sell them for three over, mm -hmm. you know, or or for for two dollars over and sell them for you know two dollars and fifty cents over, or whatever the case might have been back then. Mm -hmm. Now it's not the case, right? Because everybody's running out of of eagle or silver that the mints can't operate and if the mints can't operate guess what they got to make their money somehow so what do they do they jack up the premium to the dealers which reflects goes to the customer right and so, so it's i mean we're still working on the same amount so like yeah i might have to buy eagles today at Thirty four dollars and I sell them for thirty six, I'm making that two bucks a coin. That's what people It was get. the same thing back then. I'm still yeah. making the same amount of money. Yeah. I, I mean I'm given I'm making more because I'm doing more volume uh -huh. if I could find them. Yeah. You know, because so, you I mean to pay twenty or like the twenty twenty twos to buy them right now, they're like fifteen dollars over. Like mm -hmm. why would I do that and why would I want you to do that? Right. Like, you know, but you can still find back dates for you know 30 bucks and sell them for 32 mm -hmm. you know thanks for clarifying that because i get a lot of questions regarding american silver eagles so guys that was rich's answer to those questions that keep popping up and uh let me ask you a question look at this 2022 uh are you purchasing 2022 american silver eagles are you purchasing backdate eagles for your stack or your collection. Why or why not? Let me know, leave a comment down below, and also uh, feel free to let me know what you thought of Rich's response to the viewer questions. Hey, do you think he's right uh, for that uh, slight frustration in people's opinion that the local coin shops are the one making all the big bucks on the American Silver Eagles these days? Tell me what you think, and while you're at it, be sure to subscribe if you're new here, if you want to learn about American Silver Eagles or Mexican Silver Libertads, or watch fun and educational videos shot at the local coin shops that I frequent. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. I really appreciate you. Tee.